Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. This morning I watched a video over on the Paper Outpost where she created this kind of accordion writing space off of a bookmark. So I went ahead and did a prototype and I used this beautiful ocean breeze paper. Um, I'll try to remember to link it in the supply list. Um, this was just my sample, but basically what I did is I took some recycled cardboard from a cracker box and I covered it with paper um, on the front. I was super con concerned about, I, I don't know if I just didn't pay attention to the in the video, but I was very concerned about the back of this when I folded everything over that it wasn't all covered. But as you can see here, it doesn't matter because the writing, the copy dyed paper um, covers all of that so I was needlessly worried so that is the back and this is the front now um, I feel like it's kind of thick if you look at the profile there it's kind of thick so I had used a 60 pound weight copy dyed paper from my stash I think I'm going to go back down to a lighter weight so that I can um, I don't know though, it feels really solid. So maybe we'll go ahead and make this one with the um, with the heavier paper, because I've already got it here. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. I did not think this up. This is from the Paper Outpost. Amazing, amazing uh, lady over there. So I think I want, um, I think I just want this one because um, I don't think the butterfly is gonna show if I use that side. So I'm using, this is just a uh, regular 20 pound weight copy paper that I printed this on. So we're gonna go ahead and um, glue this onto the paper and then we'll trim it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply. I'm gonna use my glue stick because I'm hoping to do some sewing on this, which I need to move some stuff out of the way so I can get to my machine here when I'm ready. There we go. Already, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on. I'm gonna um, glue it um, this side down. This measures seven by two and a half. I'm making this for my uh, Bohemian Beauty journal, which is going to be complete before you know it. And um, I'm hoping that the person who commented on the video that they were touched by the the um, journal. I hope that she reaches back out to me so that I'm able to actually send that to her. Um, so if you're if you're watching, please go ahead and do that so that you don't miss out on that opportunity. So I'm going to put it way over here in the corner because I want to capture those flowers. So I'm just going to go ahead and press that down, and then you can see I've got um, I've got that edge with that beautiful flower bouquet. It's a little bit different color scheme than what I've used thus far in the journal. We'll see if it actually is going to go in that journal. Um, if it seems to fit, then I'll, I'll use it, but don't really have this kind of color going on, but I do have the teal, so I think it would be nice to use something a little bit different. So I'm just going to use my craft knife and my ruler and trim this down here. Get rid of this extra paper. I pulled my mat out because it's so much easier to just use the craft knife on your mat rather than get the trimmer out. So there we go. So now we're gonna go ahead and glue this all down. I'm just using a glue stick because again, I'm going to sew. I'm hoping I'm gonna sew. <laughs> and so what you do basically is, I folded the corners like so. You could do that however you want. Um, I just kind of do that 90 degree angle um, fold. I don't mind it. Some people don't care for that, but. For this purpose, I don't think it really hurts anything. So I'm just folding all the corners first, like so. And uh, again, I was concerned about this not covering, but when I put the paper, the accordion part on, it was no worries at all. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more glue here just to make sure that I can get that to stick good enough for me to get to the machine here in a little bit. So I'm going to fold over this end, give it a good press, I'm going to fold over this end, and again the credit for this goes to Pam over at the Paper Outpost. 
um, check her out. She's amazing. And then we're going to fold. Sorry, that's off camera, guys. I'm going to fold that over as well. And then, whoa. And then we're going to fold this edge like so. And then um, I'm going to set this aside so that, that that glue can dry a little bit because I don't want that getting stuck in my machine. So um, we're just going to set that aside. But that's what the front will look like, the front bookmark. So let's do the other one. I actually, um, I was going to use this one, which I think I will. I just didn't really want the kind of the floral, the, the pinkish floral stuff in here. But I think it'll be okay um, if I use this side. So let's go ahead and get that on as well. I'm just going to turn this so this edge is closer to me. Again, I'm just going to use my glue stick. It doesn't matter which which uh, which goes down. Um, I don't think. You know what? Yeah, it should be okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on the paper too because I don't want. I think I want that the colored part of that cardboard down rather than um, I want it to be like like this one. So I didn't think about that very well. So I'm just going to kind of take a peek and see where I want to position this, like so. And it, I can't really push on it, <laughs> maybe with my towel, because I've got glue on both sides. So I'm just going to push it with my towel there. And then we're going to go ahead and trim off this edge. Like so. And it doesn't matter again if one side is bigger than the other. In terms of the fold over, it's all gonna. Actually, I think I will trim that a little bit because then I, I minimize the bulk on that part. So I'll go ahead and do that. And again, this measures oops, seven by two and a half because my Bohemian Beauty Journal is seven inches tall. I got glue all over that. Might not have been a good plan. There we go. So now we're going to do the same. We're going to fold over these corners. Hoping to get rid of those pink roses. I love the pink roses, but they definitely don't go with a boho style journal, in my opinion. So just putting all those corners up. Go super fast once you've experienced it the first time. And then down on this one. And then here, and here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this over to my sewing machine really quick, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, the sewing is done on both pieces. I like use, leaving these strings, especially on this Bohemian Journal. I love how those go together. Super cool. So, um, so now we're going to go ahead and cut our paper to size. Hopefully that's even. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we're going to cut our paper. So I've got a piece of coffee dyed paper here and we need it to be slightly smaller than the, the front and the back boards kind of, of this, of this cub of the front and back bookmark bookmark uh, cover. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, I've got that mark there for my fold and then this mark is for my cut line. So I'm going to grab my cutter here really quick. Trim that off. I forgot to get out some ephemera to decorate so I'll have to pause and do that here in a little bit. So we're just cutting that edge off because we don't need that. And then I've got my mark here so I'm going to go ahead and turn this over so that I can see the mark and I'm going to do my first fold right there on that mark. Can you see that guys? There's my mark. And I'm just going to give it a good crease and this time I'm going to crease it really well as I go along. I had to completely unfold the last one to do this so let's just do it as we go. Um, that's going to just help everything to lay flatter. It's really thick coffee dyed paper. Again, it's uh, seven, uh, 
It's 60 pound, which I cannot wait to do more. I love this weight in coffee dyed paper, depending on what you're using it for, obviously. But And again, the main thing is just to make sure that this edge is even. So, and then just give that a crease. I'm not too concerned about all those um, layers matching and all of that, so don't be too concerned about that. So we're going to turn this over and go ahead and give this a good crease. I love this idea though because it's such a big writing space for, um, for a journal. So and we're going to go ahead and do the last fold here. If I can get that in line here. Give it a good crease. We're going to go ahead and use our bone folder and just crease that really, really well. There we go. And then we do have some excess, so, um, oh, wait a minute, yeah, yeah, we have excess because you just have the, the front and the back and then the, the center section, so I'm going to go ahead and mark this so that we can just trim it off a little bit, the trimmer out. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and ink around the edges here really quick before we move on. Love that. Love, love. Okay, so let me just cover that ink up really quick. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach it to the front first. So this is the front of our, of our um, bookmark. So I'm going to just lay that down. And then what we're going to do is... It's going to go like so. This is, runs really off. I wish I had paid more attention to that cut. It's going to cover up our stitching here on the back, but that's okay with me. So this time I'm going to use my art glitter glue because I'm not going to sew this on, obviously. So I want to give it a good coverage. So I'm just going to move that out of the way and just get some, get some um, glue on here. You don't have to sew it, obviously. Uh, Pam didn't sew hers. She's a big sewer. But she also does really quick videos, and so I think sometimes when you sew it, it lengthens your process. So I think she does do sewing, though. There we go. Kind of weird going over that stitching with the tip of the glue bottle here. I want to make sure this is nice and secure because it's going to hold the whole writing space in it. So let's see which way is up. So this is up. I'm going to go ahead and put this in place. And I'm going to really quickly pick it up so that I can massage it into its rightful place. So just picking that up, giving it a good press. So, yeah, okay, so then this, these fold down and then the back is going to go on uh, on this piece. So, um, I think this time I'm going to put the glue on here. Um, no, I probably shouldn't do that. Let me um, make sure I've got everything going the right way. So this is up, this is down, this is up. This is down, so we're going to go like that. Keep that in place so I don't get confused. Glue this up. Oops. I'll have to look again. I, I have to turn my stuff. It's really hard for me to work if I don't. And then trying to keep it on camera is always a challenge. should be sufficient. Okay, so my strings are at the top, so I'm just going to look though visually and just confirm that that is indeed the top. And then we're going to place this down on here. And I'm going to pick it up really quickly so I can massage it into place. It looks really darn good, except my 
it's not, um, I didn't, I cut that wrong. So I'm moving it over just a smidge towards the, the center so that um, it's covering everything really nicely. So there we go. And there was our, there's our little, our little bookmark. So, oh wow, look at, they're on the both sides. Isn't that interesting? Huh. I might trim those off. We'll see. So I'm going to pause the camera really quick so I can just grab some ephemera or some bits to put on here. So I'll be right back. Okay, I went through my little packet of ephemera from the kit and this is what I've pulled out. So we're going to do a little bit of an embellishment at the top here and then we're going to do a little bit on the back. So I'm just going to grab some bits of lace forgot to do that while I was off camera um, just because I like that I like those elements so you definitely don't have to do that but I'm just gonna pull some bits out here and see oh this gold would be pretty because that would help it to tie into the to the whole um, boho bohemian kind of style so we're gonna go ahead I've got this flower and I think what I want to do is actually cut it in half so um, I like to do this I do this all the time so I'm just going to cut that in half and use one half on the front and another half on the back so I'm going to use this half on this side because it is um, it's on the opposite side of the flower on the bottom I just think it's pleasing to the eye so I'm just going to go ahead and ink this one too because I'll probably use it on the back other bits here little banner pieces these are just from the kit A little tag I did have to trim it a little bit because it was too wide, but that's okay. Oh, I did want to. I want, did want to back this one. Let me see if I've got it big enough. Perfect. Um, I I don't like the white space, so I like to have um, I like to have coffee dyed paper on the back. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. Whoops. Keep it on the on the paper. There we go. I'm going to turn this over. I like that dark spot there. I'm going to just put it right there on the edge just to save paper here. Perfect. Go ahead and trim that off. I'm not going to sew this stuff. I'm just going to put it on as is. There we go, nice sturdy tag. Because again, this is it's an off cut of the coffee dyed paper, so I'm going to ink the back too. There we go. So let's go ahead and, oh, I forgot one. This is the banner for the front. There we go. And then, oh, we do need to ink around this entirely, so let me do that while I'm thinking of it. There we go. Nice and ready. Got all the crumbs again. Definitely need to find a different solution. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this. I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to make it any in a pocket or anything. I'm just going to glue it on straight up. So 
You could totally make a pocket out of it if you wanted to on the top. But I'm not going to. The bookmark is already pretty hefty. I don't want to bulk it up any more than it already is. Oh, goodness. Okay. Get this on here. I love that I can protect that stitching too. I still see it. It's beautiful. Okay. So that is that. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of this gold fabric. I wonder if it will tear. I've never tried to tear it. This is from a garment that I bought at the Goodwill store. Pretty tough. Let's see though. It might yield great result. Nope, it's not going to tear. It's got too much, too much uh, something here. Let's see. What do we got here? Let's just go ahead and trim that up a little bit. I don't need that much. Also need a word, so let me grab my, my digital words here. Let's see if we can find something that fits this. Magical beguiling. Yes, that's the word. Beguiling. I'm gonna trim that down though a little bit. They're always a little bit long for my my liking. And ink that up. I've got such a mess to the right side of me. If you only could see it. There we go. I love that. Okay. So now let's go ahead and I'm trying to decide if I want that flower on first. I want the lace on there. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of Fabri-Tac. I forgot to get it out here. Hopefully it'll flow quickly. So we're just gonna put it. I'm just gonna put it on the um, the more solid parts of this lace, like so. And I liked how it was kind of crooked on there. Didn't plan that, like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue this baby on. Oh, I think I want a little bit of this too. I'm just gonna trim it a little bit. Like that, and then we're going to put our little flower on there using the art or the fabric tack because I'm gluing onto lace paper on lace, and then we're just going to bump that flower right up there by the edge. Mm, I love that it's covering up some of that lace, but it's beautiful. Okay, now let's go ahead and put our word on. Where would we like our word? I think I want it up in this area. But I'm not sure that's going to work. could put it right there. Yeah, I think I want it right there. I'm going to use the, the fabric tack just because um, I like it. So, beguiling seems like a fitting word for a bohemian journal. Okay, so we're just going to tuck it up there so I can still see that this is a, a banner. So there we go. What do you guys think? That is the front. Beautiful. So let's go ahead. Oh, I need a little bit of glue on this edge sticking up. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's turn her over and do the back and then we'll be done. Short video. It's always nice. I'm going to use my art glitter glue and I'm going to just glue the three sides, two sides and the bottom. I'm just going to put our pocket down here. We do lose some of the side stitching, but I didn't want to make the pocket too narrow because then it's not really very, it's not able to really be used. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of lace on this. I've got this little scrap, so I think I'll use that on top just to kind of create a tag topper here. Just going to put that there, turn it over, put a little bit of glue here. 
and then just leave a little bit of that like so. Give it a press there. Perfect. Okay. So that's going to stick in there. Make sure we've got our, our opening here. Come on. It's really, this uh, surface is really stiff, the bookmark surface. So I'm just going to get my ruler in there to make sure that's nice and open. Slide that tag in there. Sweet. There we go. I'm going to leave it out for now, though, just to give that pocket time to dry. So um, let's go ahead and put the banner on this one as well. kind of don't want to cover that up. Maybe I will cut this off a little bit because I don't want it to, I don't want to lose all that. It's so beautiful. Hopefully that's reasonably straight. I don't mind losing that, that part, but I think I, I don't want to lose all these words. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on again, not making a pocket so I can just glue the whole surface. There we go turning it so I can get this nice and straight because again I want to preserve that stitching if I can I want to be able to see it so like so perfect love it it's a little crooked on the top but that's okay and so we've got this little scrap I think it would make a nice little cluster paper cluster thing here at the bottom let's do that really quick We'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do with that in a second, but I've got the other half of my flower, so I want to put it over here. Maybe I'll have it kind of come down like so. I like that. Wow, I'm not going to put anything else on that top part. I'm just going to glue this on. Of course, you can do anything that you like to decorate your, your bit. But I'm just going to bring it down here so that I can cover up that corner of the banner like so. There we go. Perfect. And that ties the front in with the back or the back in with the front. So let me ink this and then decide what we're going to do with these little bits. Got that. And then we've got a piece of the coffee dyed paper here. We could go ahead and do the same with it. And then we've got a scrap of this as well, which would be really pretty. Let's go ahead and get a piece of that as well. <clears throat> there we go. Just quick inking here. We'll need to pick another word. Of course, you wouldn't have to decorate the front and the back. Uh, totally up to you, but I, I love doing this, so I'm going to do it. Let's see. Let's see if we can have that go that way. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. I love that. And then this is going to tie the top to the bottom, which is always nice. I think we need a little bit of this uh, fabric, though. Again, just to tie it all together. In my opinion, anyway. It's a little bit big. Trim it down a little bit more. Okay. Put that under there. Yeah. I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac, again just trying to put it on the solid parts of the lace there. It can be a little bit tricky to work with. I'm just going to put that there. One more piece of paper using the Fabri-Tac because I'm gluing paper onto lace or fabric. And then we need a word. So let's see what we got in our little bucket that will go with that. 
theme. Let's see. You and me. I like that. You and me. Looks like I didn't cut it very straight when I cut these out. I'm just going to trim that off a little bit. And again, cut the ends. They're long. Ink it. So guys, that is it for the for today. I will show you a close-up here in just a second. And um, then we will be ready to say, see you later. So let's see. Yeah, I like that. I just use my art glitter glue. You and me, baby. There we go. Okay. And there is the back. I love that. And the top. And then here is the front, beguiling. And then we didn't do anything at the bottom. And then here is our Constantina writing space. Whoops, it goes like this. <laughs> like, where is all the writing space? So there we go. I forgot to ink that edge. Oh, well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.